Oh, we got a bash of Nintendo Switch hidden gems on the way. And welcome to Resell Robin. Got another batch of Nintendo Switch hidden gems for you guys. I Like I said, I have so many I want to cover with you guys. I have another batch coming up real soon. There is just so many I want to talk about. And I love bringing them to you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for all the subscribers. We are now at, I believe, 1830. So we are closing in on that 2000 subscriber mark. If you like the content that I'm bringing, please subscribe to the channel. Like the video as always. And we have new content every Sunday and Wednesday. So make sure you guys tune in because there's always new stuff coming. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said... Uh, I want to say that we are going to be doing a giveaway uh, at the 2,000 subscriber mark. So when we get to 2,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving out something really cool. I'm not showing it off yet, but it's something pretty cool. It'll be the same thing I said last time. It'll be on that video. I'll give details on how you win it. But we will do a video on that when we hit the 2,000 subscriber mark. So please help me get to that number. If you watch these videos and you haven't subscribed or already, it would be amazing if you did. I want to thank you guys so much in advance. But without further ado, let's get right into these Nintendo Switch hidden gems. All right, and the first one I want to talk about is actually uh, Catherine Full Body. Now, this game came out on the PS3, the PS4, the PS5. Uh, this is like the complete version with all the DLC and stuff like that on it. Uh, I think this game is so cool and unique. It's an Atlas game. Uh, you can get this for $20 and under. It's very cheap, but it's such a unique, cool little game. Um, and I do think the Switch version and the probably the original PS3 version, if I'm not mistaken, will be the more expensive version ones down the road. I, I'm a huge Switch collector. This runs great on the Switch. And if you've never played it, you do yourself a favor and play it because it's such a unique, cool little game. And again, only $20 or under. So it's not going to break the bank on this one. Again, I highly recommend it. If you've never played Catherine, there's plenty of other ways to play it. So no matter what, give this one a try. And the next one I want to cover is actually one that... I think fell under the radar because of other games, but it's actually Live I Live, or Live Alive, or something like that. Uh, it's a Square Enix RPG, similar to like Final Fantasy and like Octopath Traveler and stuff like that that released on the Switch. The original version of this game, I believe, was on the Super Famicom and never got a US release, which is a shame. But this one kind of fell under the radar compared to the other ones that released almost around the exact same time. And I don't think this even got a release on any other console. Maybe PS4? Let me know in the comments down below if it did, but I think this was Switch only. Fantastic RPG. Highly recommend you go out and pick this one up. Probably going to go up in value, especially if there's no other version of this out there. So actually do some research first and make sure there's no other version. But if there's not, highly recommend you pick this one up. You can get it for around $30 new right now on eBay. Again, not very expensive and could go up. I think some of you probably have already gotten it, but I did want to cover this one because I think it's less talked about compared to Octopath Traveler and things like that. So definitely run out and pick this one up. The next one I want to cover is actually a Japanese game. Uh, and it's actually uh, Higadashi or When They Cry. This is a visual novel series. Uh, there were several of them on here. Uh, basically... It's almost like a harem anime, but then gets really, really brutal and violent. If you've seen the anime, you know uh, this has been coming out since the PlayStation 2 era, and they actually did like a compilation for the Switch, only in Japan, unfortunately. And I don't believe there is an English update to this game. You can let me know in the comments if there is. I don't think there is. It's like a $50 game used right now in America, so it's not a cheap game. I thought it was so cool when I picked it up while I was in Japan last time. But again, if you like these types of games and you, well, you read Japanese or you're a collector of it, highly recommend picking this one up. Uh, there's other versions of this game. None of them ever came to the West, unfortunately, but highly recommend it. It's a good time. Pick it up. 
Now the next one I want to cover is actually a uh, horror game that released on the Switch. Um, and it's actually Deadly Premonitions 2. Uh, number one was on the PS3, the director's cut, which is actually really expensive now. And this is the sequel to that one. Uh, I think it only got a Switch release, maybe PS4 again, but I, uh, I, I don't know. You can get it for 20 bucks brand new right now. I think as of this recording right now on Amazon, it's $20. So I snagged this one up. I love the Deadly Premonition series and I had to get number two. And for $20, there's no chance this isn't going to go up in price over the time. So survival horror or horror in general, for those of you who question it, horror games and collectible, they always go hand in hand. So I see no reason not to grab this one while it's 20 and under. Again, Amazon has it right now. So don't sleep on this one. Pick it up before it's too late on that one, guys. Uh, the next one I want to cover is actually such a unique game this is such a cool unique game and i actually just discovered it when i was in a best buy of all things and it's actually citizen sleeper this is a cyberpunk role-playing game and when i say role-playing game i mean actual like role-playing game like D D and like tabletop game where you like roll dice in it and like you character create it's such a unique, unique game, and the story progresses depending on the choices you make. I don't know how else to describe this game. It is so... They don't make games like this. Let me put it that way. You don't see games like this very often put out. Seeing a physical copy, nonetheless, was so cool. I haven't seen this many places. Uh, if you find this at your best buy, it's $30. I really recommend you pick this one up. It is, if you love tabletop RPG games, you're going to love this. Uh, and if not, give it a try. You might find yourself actually enjoying this one either way. I don't think there's any question this one's probably going to go up in value over time. It's just, you don't see games like this. It's my hunch. It's $30. You can find it at Best Buy right now. I recommend you track this one down and pick it up. That's all I'm saying. The last one I want to cover is actually a really cool, like, action RPG type game. And it's actually Code of Princess EX. This is a cool side-scroller anime, like, RPG, action RPG. It's so unique. The graphics are awesome in this one. It's already gotten pretty pricey. I think a new copy is around $60 now or so. Probably going to continue to rise. This was a $29.99 MSRP game when it launched. Uh, I kind of knew to grab this one back in the day. And I hadn't covered it yet. And I really wanted a cool... It's a multiplayer like beat-em-up RPG is the best way to put it. I don't know how I else to put it. But it's cool that it's like with two players. So you can play it almost like a uh, Streets of Rage type game. But it has like RPG mechanics and stuff in it too. Really, really cool game. Highly recommend picking this one up. Again, you can get a used one for like 40 right now, and I think this one's definitely gonna continue to rise in price. Don't see a reason not to get this one, guys. Don't sleep on it. Just saying. Those are my Switch games today, guys. Let me know what you guys think of these Switch games. <clears throat> Let me know if there's Switch games I need to pick up because I am constantly picking stuff up. I have some bangers on the way. They haven't arrived yet super excited for some of these that i've ordered we'll cover those when they arrive probably on wednesday or on next sunday uh we'll put a poll up today for next sunday's video so vote in the poll let us know what you want to see love doing those so make sure you guys go on there again make sure you guys subscribe we want to hit 2000 by the end of september which we are running out of time on if we don't we want to hit it as soon as possible so we can do this giveaway at least before i go to japan i will be going to japan on october 12th We'll be doing special content from Japan for two weeks, so look for those videos. But I want to thank you guys so much. What you guys are doing is amazing. It helps the channel grow so much, and I appreciate it beyond you'll ever know. Trust me, more than you ever know. So I, I appreciate everything, guys. Um, like I said, I, I'm, I'm loving Switch right now. I don't know how else to put it. I think it's one of the best consoles to collect for right now. On top of, I think PS5 is the most slipped on because of the, not because of the exclusivity of the games, but because of the less print run. So it's an interesting situation on PS5. And PS4 right now is a time to get them in general because they're at the bottom lower level of their price range. 
Waiting is going to bite you in the ass on PS4. So right now is when you should be getting your PS4. So if stuff that's $100 right now, if FOMO hits, trust me, that shit ain't 100 It's going to be 300 200 Like So anything you're thinking about on PS4 is now to be getting. And Switch is just a whole nother beast. Love it, but that's just the facts of the way it is. Do what you will with that. But again, I want to thank you guys so much. Comment on the video, like and subscribe. And as always... Stay savage. The Nintendo Switch hidden gems, they just never stop. And I'm gonna stop, not stop bringing them to you guys. Stay in.